I was just... Damn. Exercise ring closed. Oh gosh, he freaking hit the same number. I'll increase. Keep, keep hopefully increasing, you know? Oh, there we go. Nice. There we go. We're getting a little bit more whippy here. He, dude, oof. Um, everything you got by this year, this time next year. I go. Trying to push my hip okay. and then like push it this way. Yeah. So extension into like brace, you know? Yeah. Big, I'll do it. I'll do it. Still waiting on the t shirt. Yeah, there you go. The goal, really, for all these variations is to like not drop per weight. Per weight. Because that's efficiency, right? Yeah. I mean, so like we, nothing should change from your your throwing mechanics, better. right? So like that's that's why I like doing these because as soon as like you see a drop, you're like, okay, I need to fix that, yeah. you know? Especially a I drop of yeah, a drop of five, yeah. like that's. that's a lot. There we go. <laughs> How light does this three ounce oh feel? God. Oof! You could probably hit ninety with this. Should we get some slow mos Oh! Your five ounce though was 76? 75. And then you went to 81? 81. Okay, so you gotta go to like 85 on 85. this thing. I got a 95. <laughs> Is that cheese? For 4,200 spin? Oh. 79? See, you're like, all I think about on these is like, as soon as I break my hands, tempo. And get to like max retraction and go. It's like pulling the rubber band, right? She's always listening. Yeah. Okay, so this one's a little bit tricky, but I'll do preset like in the, the divot and then preset the hip into rotation and then keep like this back. Yeah. Right. So like this is essentially where I would want to land. And now I just literally kind of cock back and just throw. Okay. But when you cock back, you keep that hit. Right. I'm not trying to turn this foot. It's already turned. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Because the foot's going to dictate where your hip is. Right. Good. Woo! <laughs> 89? Is that a plus 10? I think I saw some of this one. Did you? I try to like stay on that toe. It's kind of hard. Because you're like trying to keep it flexed. Right. I, I'm thinking about like almost getting hip extension from my toe, but then like pushing it back. Yeah. But if you think about it, like nothing happens until you anchor down. Yeah. And then this is what you want to be in when you yeah, anchor down. And that's where. Yeah, happens. yeah, it just snaps. Because now all this happens is rotation, completion of the hips, and then this is where that arm just pulls through. Like no power matters until you get into So that. all I'm thinking, yeah, like trunk flexion is giving me arm acceleration. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Frick. The long toss variations of these are way more fun. Uh-huh. This one, I'll get it to like 320. In that position? Yeah. 422. Yeah. Now, if I can only translate that to the mound. That's it right there. You feel the shoulder get like pushed back into the scap, and then this goes. Oh, there it is. This is going to be like 92. Uh. All right, let's we'll skip one of the variations. We'll go to like a, a side shuffle with a funnel, or however you want to do a side shuffle. Okay. 
Nice. You slowed up, man. Your thing is like, I get it. I get it. You're a guy that like kind of gets back and like your tempo. But for me, man, like, especially on a throw like this, think about it. Your probably lowest power output is going to be on this throw because you have increased tempo of your feet, but your hands tempo is still slow. So now there's a mismatch. They're not working together. Whereas like when you're stagnant, your throws are powerful because they're synced up stagnant and like this is going now so this creates its own tempo in these throws the feet initiates the tempo it dictates how you're going to be moving yes so that's why so my best throw variations are like when i do those boom yeah get going <laughs> Okay. That's you. Uh huh. I try to keep, like, especially on this one, I try to keep like my head over my right nipple to counter rotate. Yeah. And then, well, which is tough because you have forward momentum already, right? So it's like you need to have that split second of like stall and then go with your front foot still going forward, right.